Hey guys, welcome back to Afternoon Break. It is National Rum Day. So naturally, I had to come to one of my favorite places, Electric Moon, hanging out with Ryan House. We're in your house today, and you That's are going right. to show us three amazing cocktails. They're going to really spotlight rum. What's the first one we're going through? All right, so first we're going to go with the Lemon Old Cuban. It's going to be a riff on uh, your classic mojito. You'll take a couple of uh, lemon slices, Crazy. put them in your shaker with a little bit of a shocked mint in there. Okay, why do we clap it? Uh, it kind of opens up the flavor okay. without uh, bruising your mint too, too bad. Love it. Uh, you're going to do a little bit of simple syrup, about half an ounce. Great. You're going to do two ounces of your white rum. And white rum is the best for mixing cocktails. Um, Why is that? The flavor isn't as harsh. We're also mm -hmm. going to muddle it now. Uh, when you're muddling, you want to go just up and down. You Can don't want to twist it too bad. Yeah, go yes, for it. Yes, let me muddle. You don't want to twist it too much because okay. it, it, it might bruise the mint. I feel like uh, that's But it's not that big of a deal either way. Yeah. <laughs> I won't ruin the cocktail. Yeah, that's right. You put it in your shaker. So so why white when you are mixing? Uh, it's just not as harsh of a flavor. Mm -hmm. A lot of the age of spice rums have a uh, lot more kind of spices in the flavor. Sure. A lot more nutmeg, things of that nature. Yeah. Um, we're going to put it in our coupe glass here. Great. Strain it like so. Now, does it matter what glass you put it in or you feel like the coupe is just gives um, a nice little flair? Since we're doing champagne mm -hmm. in this drink, yeah. it kind of makes the most sense to put it in something more open Ooh, air. Oh, look at that. You know what I love is how you guys top things. How are we topping this? Uh, we're just going to do a lemon on that one. Simple yeah, lemon. I love it. Okay, Cheers. so that's number one. Now we've got the second one. Yeah, that's going to be our Bacardi 8 Year Sour. Okay. Um, and this is going to be using an aged drum, so it's more of that sort of uh, natural flavors that they get out of. Ryan, an aged rum technically can be a little drier, so we want to really zhuzh it up. What makes this specific recipe so special? So you're putting in a lot of lemon juice and simple syrup here. Okay. Uh, it kind of breaks up the, the harsh flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, makes it a lot easier for all people to drink. It's like a lemonade in the summer. Love that. Yeah. Okay, so that, that specific brand is going to be a little more bitey. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. perfect. And drum roll for the glass. <laughs> Love it. Can I pour it? Go for it. May I? And there you okay. go. Okay. A strainer just like that. Ooh, it's really chilly. Perfect. This one's really easy to make, too. Anybody can make that. Oh, yeah. And, and There's only three it. ingredients, so it's super easy. We'll put a little bit of ice on top there. Terrific. Uh, and then we're just going to garnish it with a couple of the Angostura Bitters polka dots. Kind of adds a love that extra. Now, what's what I noticed? Obviously, you put ice in there. Now, some people like to have their rum hot or yeah. cold. What do you prefer? I prefer it cold. Okay. Uh, it's more of like a summer liquor for me. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of volume that comes from drinking it warm. You know, you get a lot of extra flavors that kind of the yeah. cold disguises. The hot toddies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so when you're drinking more quality rums, it, it could be. Yeah. Better to drink warm. And as uh, we're in summertime, we're looking at Labor Day. We definitely want that chilled beverage. That's right. All right, and our third and final. It's gonna rum. be the Bull on the Moon. If you've ever been to Electric Moon, you've probably had it before. Yeah. It's one of our best sellers. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do an ounce of each. The rum. All right, you Malibu show off. and cruise in. <laughs> <laughs> do it too. And then. No. Uh, a little bit of mango syrup in there. Got it. And then we're gonna do our pina colada mix. Which, if you're wondering, it's just equal parts Coco Lopez and pineapple juice. The aroma is insane. Oh my gosh, I can smell that mango. That's right. Now, does rum age in a bottle or does it typically age in the barrel? Um, so usually as soon as it's in the bottle, it yeah. doesn't continue to age. Um, it's kind of done at that point okay. uh, until you open it up and then it's about six months there. Okay. Uh, we're going to top that with one of our light up ice cubes. Yeah, you are. A little bit of Red Bull and a little bit of grenadine on top just to make it a little prettier. Perfect. I can't think of a better way and source of enjoying your rum. We have three different options for you. We're going to have all of the ingredients, things like that, the recipe on the website. You guys enjoy responsibly. Yes, Always. Right. Always Ryan, responsibly. Ryan, thank you so yeah, much. Happy rum day, everybody. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>